It was basically a slate presentation for 2016, so it's all the upcoming product for the two Hollywood studios, Universal Pictures and Paramount Pictures. And I think the standout ones for me were My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, Bridget Jones's Baby, The Secret Life of Pets, um, Ben-Hur, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Trek, um, it's a plethora of content and it basically is all of the triple A's and the standout product for the two studios. Any of the big ones you can imagine, um, brands, FMCG brands, retail brands, they all buy really quickly into third party promotions with, with big theatrical film brands. If you look at Star Wars, for example, at the moment, I mean, I literally saw that everywhere, a brilliant third party promotion with Telcom. I saw three or four of the major malls, and so now South Africa has a mall culture, we don't have a high street culture. Three or four of the malls were completely wrapped in the artwork. So those same kind of activations we are planning around the secret life of pets. We have hills that are very interested at the moment, obviously a food brand for the pets. Um, we have some of the retail brands looking quite strong there. We have um, price packages that we are giving away to New York City. Our own sister company, NBC, which is the television arm for Universal Pictures. We have some stuff running with them. So yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> I mean, everything is embargoed at the moment. There will be a title reveal coming this Sunday. They are going to break the first trailer, which is at this point called Super Bowl Spot. Um, but after Sunday, it'll be called Trailer A um, for the title. And at the same time, they are going to reveal the title as well. It's all under wraps at the moment. The one thing I suppose I can say is what um, Matt Damon himself has revealed to the press is that there has been a time lapse of nine years in the plot, even though 12 years removes him from the previous time he's, he played the super, super um, agent, um, and that was in the Bourne Ultimatum. And I would imagine, and this is what he's told as well, that we are going to encounter an older Bourne, um, something closer to the Matt Damon actual age of 45 so it might not be as high action as kicking as some of the previous ones have been but believe you me it'll have an intrinsic plot with a very turmoil character and a break in in constant equilibrium That's Jason Bourne. Why would it come back now? I know who I am. I remember everything. Remembering everything doesn't mean you know everything. The world is at war. We need the perfect weapon. 